we've we've lived, you know, uh, through all the hurt and everything that we had to experience losing Keith, and to see um, to see him remembered, and and so it's happy, sad. It's kind of a happy, sad because, you know, it's wonderful to see all the things I remember him in, and then also sad to remember, you know, that he's not wearing them anymore, but. Um, I'm so glad that the, the Hall of Fame has recognized Keith as really a, a pillar uh, in this industry, and this just kind of solidifies his um, his magical impact he had on the music industry. You know, I, there's. There's times people just get chills all the time still listening to his records. It is a sad story. It's it's not it's not the typical success overnight big rich here I am. It this is this is not a fairy tale ending. It is not. And uh, what I hope people take away is the you know the the struggles Keith had to to live his dream, to have his dream. She reached out. Uh, Garth Brooks would not be standing here as Garth Brooks one for Keith Whitley. Keith Whitley is one of the real deals. So he was my generation's George Jones. The move that we need in the Country Music Hall of Fame since they're doing the exhibit, he is the one guy from the 80s that's still not in there in the Country Music Hall of Fame. We need to correct that so we can all be proud about the, the Country Music Hall of Fame because there is no Hall of Fame without Keith Whitley.